shop in the town where I work is the Starbucks, and that's fine. The only place where I can get lunch if I forget is the Starbucks, and that's fine. Cause the people are nice, they, they all know my name, and they all know my order cause it's always the same. And they fill up my cup with the elixir of life at the Starbucks, and that's fine. And I kind of wish that there was something different. here. I think my thing's on a lag, so let me just do this. I'm just going to refresh my thing. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to do a couple of songs today that I haven't done in a while, but also songs that I know everyone likes, including this one that's incredibly relevant for the moment. Welcome, Bridget. Welcome, Pablo. from my channel because of this song. <laughs> Whoops! It was probably because I mentioned drinking alone. Whatever. I mean, you know, it's a thing that happens. You know, why, why, why not acknowledge what reality is, you know? Um, so, I'm excited because I reached 5k, 5,000 subscribers last Sunday, 
And now I'm at almost 5,400 subscribers. So my channel is growing. It's growing a lot. Yes, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. That's why I wrote the song, because I really, I wanted to drive home that point without being aggressive about it. So, you know, what better way than with a song? <laughs> Lots of nourishment for the uh, for the hooks. Thank you, Ness. No worries. We all got to do what we got to do. I said it would rain. I hope that it rains because we need it so badly. And that would explain that strange kind of pain. The fog in my life was so heavy. And the mist has me blind in solving puzzles As I gingerly keep stumbling into puddles And the truth is stopping white because I forgot my jacket Who said it's playing and I'm a worm without a home He said it would rain and it's bringing me pain From the ground and the plants we need it And I wish I could watch from a cozy warm house But I can't, so I have to walk through it Hillsides are going to be very happy next week. I think we're going to get a nice little bloom. I call them like highlighter hills because um, because the 
the flowers are so bright and you can see them like you can see like yellow patches on the hills so pretty so pretty Ooh. yeah i'm doing a couple songs today that i haven't done in a while just to keep them fresh here is a uh, tube of moon for now. Cool. Song about a wiener dog. This is a long little doggy. don't know what Ingrid Michelson looks like. I'm assuming you mean Ingrid Michelson. I don't know what she looks like really, but I like her voice a lot. 
keeping it upbeat for the moment. We'll go, we'll go in lots of, lots of moods today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming. This one is called End of the Driveway. Three young girls standing at the end of the driveway. Trees hiding their house. It's 40 yards away. The air smells right from the forest. And the sun shines its last heat of the day. Blackberries on the bush just started to turn. It's like a rosy. I'm glad she likes it. <laughs> ah, keeping at that tempo. This is very cool. I've had so many songs in me all day and all my life and they call to me and all my dreams. Do I ever listen? They're frivolous and deep and sing to me when I'm asleep. But like my dreams, they disappear as soon as I try to is very gold. Um, I am going to go a little bit ahead. I'm going to skip ahead to another one. Um, I just recorded today a video. Um, I, have a, I have a ukulele tutorial coming out tomorrow, um, but I just recorded a different video that I think we'll I'll try to make, I'll try to put out by Wednesday, so maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and it's about Accessing your creativity um, within a crisis, you know. Um, I was just, I've just I've been thinking about that a lot these last few weeks, and and 
you know, thinking about how, why, like in my mind, things, like it's so hard to like maintain all of the things that you've got going on while there are crises happening and you're trying to process what's going on there and how you can use the tools that you have to help you process what's happening. Um, so, I mean, it's not quite that pointed, but uh, I just, I put together some thoughts on that. So hopefully that will uh, speak to some people. So, but definitely, it's definitely been a tricky, tricky month. So this, that being said, here's a song about our cute little doggy, Nuna. We took her on a walk on a trail yesterday. She was so happy. Walking my dog Nuna around the neighborhood, strutting nice and brisk. recording of it anyway because the recording I have of the song is like probably over a year old probably like a year and a half old so I should make a new one and you guys can totally sing background that'd be fun be fun collab I I've been enjoying I made a nice collaboration uh, with my colleague with my work friend and, and life friend really um, she's playing tenor sax and I'm playing flute horn and I uh, made a little arrangement of Stand By Me. That was really enjoyable. You know what? Maybe I'll make it like a... Hmm. Hmm. How about I'll reach out and I'll reach out to... I'll make it a team collab. I'll make it a channel collab. How's that? That'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you. I I love me on Flugel Horn too. <laughs> Man, I don't know. So it, it's story of me and Flugel Horn. Never played one before, and I was in the brass band in college. And um, I the the guy that usually played the Flugel Horn part was not going to be there that day, but he had his horn, and he was like, hey. Um, you're gonna play my part today. I can't come in because I have something else going on and it was not just a rehearsal But it was like a performance rehearsal and there was a part that said um, It was I don't remember what it was an English folk song and they're on the flugelhorn part It said solo, but what I didn't realize was that it was really a solo like nobody else was playing at all and it was just me, and it like I didn't even have to try. It just came out. It was like da 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 da
I've never played this instrument before and here I am just playing it. What a nice instrument. <laughs> so that's the story. No, I don't think he knew who that guy was. Um, no. It was a different, it was a different, uh, it was a different time. Nature Portraits, welcome. Yeah, it was, it was a different, uh, different situation. I don't think you ever saw that one, Megan. Um, so I'm going to play now two of my oldest ones. I've been doing these, these, this medley a lot lately. This is Pandas and Birds. Not high school band, college. Today I woke up wondering, do pandas have tattoos? And then I wondered if the tattoos also have tattoos. And then there was a never-ending cycle of pandas having tattoos. But then I realized that the instantly that they could have tattoos. Good stoners. <laughs> okay, I'll do a weird one. I haven't done that one in a while. I'll do the little one. That's a good one. Good one for this moment. It's part of the set.
drinking hibiscus tea with um, water in it. <laughs> I know, living dangerously. Oh, just going to do one more on this one, then switch instruments. Good transition. This is Vulture. here. 
just in time. Just in time for you to warm up your chickens. Uh, Karen Brown has just had three new baby chicks hatched at her, at her at Fell Manor this last week. They're so cute. And in celebration, this is Fell Manor. Candy bar. <laughs> I could buy five candy bars. I could buy two fancy candy bars. How's that? I go for fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. This is parking lot. <laughs> One roll of toilet paper.
trying to look pretty. Curls fall flat and makeup just feels messy. Oh, what a night to be stranded in the parking lot, dressed up with no place to go. Black sky and yellow light and cars driving through the night must change the plans we had in tow. Yay! Oh, awesome. So you guys, if you don't know, Nature Fortress is my friend from college, fellow clarinet player, very, I think you, but mostly primarily guitar player, so also a musician. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, so I had said before earlier that I'm going to do a couple that I haven't done in a while. And we're going to start with this one. <laughs> this is uh, put a pin in this. Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, this is it. Anytime. I don't think I have the time. 
David is our newest patron of this channel. Yay! Actually, second newest. I got two new patrons this week. I had like the same eight for like seven straight months, and now suddenly I have two in a week. It's awesome. It's wonderful. And it's very motivating. It's very motivating to have new people. So I'm excited. I have a lot of stuff filmed that I'm going to put together soon. So, after, after much time, you know, let's do this one. I, like, realized I skipped some stuff. Let's do this one right now. All right, this is Breathe. on me. And you know, I can't believe how fast these hours go by. It's crazy. If you're feeling like you are enjoying yourself, please do my channel an enormous, enormous favor and press the like button. That way YouTube says, oh, maybe this isn't such a bad video. Maybe more, more people should see it. This is a limit.
cheer myself. <laughs> okay, so this next one is one that I have not performed in a while. Aw, that's awesome. Mark Von Jones, you have an amazing dinner with your family. Tell everyone I said hello. Tell Emperor Jeffrey that I hope he's still practicing his saxophone. Um, I haven't done this song in a while. I haven't performed it for a while. I love this song, um, but it I just don't do it all the time because it's a little bit long. But I felt like today is a good day to do Teal. <laughs> I'll do it correctly. Golden ribbons of sunlight spill through dirty glass. I 
Yeah. Yeah, Luna got Luna got mad at the mailman. I saw a mail truck go by and she was barking. <laughs> yeah, she was barking. Uh, that song is called Teal. I don't perform it very often because it's long and um it's very real. Um you know, it can make people uncomfortable sometimes, but it's real. Um, so, on that note, actually, I'm going to do two more for you today. Then, I'm going to go for a walk with my husband at his workplace. Because no one's there. No, he's just working on his own. And, um, it's really pretty there. So, this is Songbird. Welcome, Jim. I'm glad to see you here. Fresh sheet of paper, so white and clean. Gonna write me scribbles that no one's ever seen. Wearing comfy clothes, warm, warm cup of tea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop thinking, just let your hand do it. Try again. There we go. Literally just did a video about how to do finger style. Fresh sheet of paper, so white and clean. Gonna write me scribbles that no one's ever seen. Wearing comfy clothes, a lukewarm cup of tea. In my brain birds whistle, a little mix of melody. One more for you today. Um, of course, of course, I like doing this one last. 
because everyone's waiting for it. Um, before I play my last song today, I want to say thank you so much for being here with me today, for hanging out, for listening to my music, um, for keeping this place a safe place to be. Um, whoops. You know, it's, it's a rough world out there, so we got to do what we can to just help each other out, right? For me, the easiest thing to do is just keep making music. <laughs> so, that being said, we're gonna end today with a little classic called Where Did Charlie Go? you guys for coming and being here with me this Sunday live stream. Let's see, what else I going to say? Thank you to my patrons. Ten of them now. We are growing. We're going to be becoming a big channel. Yeah, big. <laughs> Almost 6,000 people. <laughs> like, we, we're really growing. So this is awesome. Um, I'm like so happy. I'm so pleased. And I'm really pleased with the space that you allow this to be. Um, can't thank you enough for for helping me in creating that. So that's all I can say. Until next time, stay mindful, stay musical, stay out of trouble, stay safe.